Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video we will take a quick look at the latest update for the Android 16 QPR1 Beta 1. Now Beta 1 came out back on May 20th. Now today there is a lot of bug fixes but also what is a part of it is this advanced protection that you're able to see inside of your security and privacy. Now for some reason this update here which is the Beta 1.1 which is all of these bug fixes uh, I do not see it here on the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL, but I did find it on the Pixel 8 Pro. So when you scroll through here and you take a look at some of the devices that is available for QPR1 Beta 1, it is all listed there, even with that Pixel 9 Pro XL. But for this Beta 1.1, this one is not a part of it, at least as of the recording of this video, which is the time of the release which is June 4th. So first off, let's just take a look at some of what they did. And I also want to show you how big this update is. Now this update wasn't that large. You can see here it's 6.47 megabytes. And what's really cool is the new little loading animation screen that comes along with it. So instead of it just being a little line, you will have curvy lines showing you the progression of what it's doing. So I think that that's actually pretty cool. But again, there was the details there. It was 6.47 megabytes. Now, here is the bug fixes, which is quite a few of them. Um, but then we'll also take a look at the advanced protection and what exactly it is. So taking a look at some of the fixed bugs, they fixed an issue where the navigation buttons would become unresponsive in the app drawer or task changer. Fixed an issue where the progress bar in the media player on the lock screen doesn't reflect the place in media. Fixed a crash when trying to open effects in wallpaper. Fixed an issue where the settings app would crash after trying to open the battery menu. Fixed an issue where the lock screen date could get cut off when using a wide clock style. Fixed an issue where the search button has a different color when scrolling. Fixed an issue where the approve button in device admin settings is missing. Fixed an issue where dark album labels appeared to, in the photo picker when in dark mode, impacting readability. Fixed an issue where the date wasn't appearing on the home screen. And fixed a fingerprint authentication failure on a multi-user Android device in certain low power conditions. So again, with this one being a 1.1, this one is kind of uh, almost a hot fix, fixing a bunch of these bug issues, which was you know quite a few, especially for this small of update. But this is something that you are also able to get, which is the advanced protection. Now, if I was to go over here on my Google Pixel 9 Pro XL, and if we go inside of these settings here, uh, and then we go down into the security and privacy, if I scroll all the way down, I am not able to see it. So this does come with this, uh, you know, 1.1 uh, beta update because it's not sitting over here. And again, I don't even see this update yet. So what exactly is the advanced protection? So you can do this with just the device protection and you can also do it with your account protection. So this is talking about your Google account. So if you turned this on, then you'll be able to have all of these features enabled with it. So for the device theft, it'll safeguard lost, stolen, or confiscated devices. So it's pretty much called the inactivity reboot, which means it'll restart device if it remains locked for three days. Now this was something that we talked about in the past where we were waiting for this to happen. And this is how they implemented it because it's one of those things that you are able to opt in. It's a optional setting. And this is where if you do want to have it turned on, this is how you turn it on. So how does this help you? That means that if somebody stole your phone or if it got confiscated after three days of inactivity where you didn't unlock your phone, it'll do an automatic reboot after three days. Again, this will encrypt your device, especially with these sensitive information, and you can't use your biometrics. If you know right now, if I pick up my phone, I can use biometrics to get into it. But after three days of not unlocking the phone, it'll reboot, making it to where you would have to put in your code, which is you know, uh, harder to do than any other way to get into your phone. So this right here will just save from uh, your sensitive information being picked up. And again, it encrypts everything. And then for apps, protects against memory bugs and unsafe apps. So for Google Play Protect, it scans for unsafe apps and malware. For unknown apps, it'll block installation of apps from unknown sources. And memory tagging extension protects against memory corruption in supported applications. Now for uh, networks, prevents insecure connections. So 2G network protection, 
not available on all devices, but what it'll do is it will avoid the 2G networks, which are less secure. For the web, it protects against unsafe websites. So for the Android safe browsing, it blocks harmful web pages. For Chrome browsing, warns you before you visit a non-HTTPS site and JavaScript protections turns off some advanced capabilities to reduce risk. Now, Phone by Google protects against spam calls. Uh, caller ID and spam it, uh, identifies businesses and spam numbers for automatic call screen, screens suspicious calls and declines spam. And then for Google Messages, it protects against spam and scams. Spam protection, it filters spam and warns you of scams. Suspicious links warns you about links from unknown senders. So this is something that comes along with that uh, QPR beta 1.1 that again is not a part of the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL for some reason. My guess is because they've probably found something last second, didn't include this device to be a part of this update here. And more than likely we will see this update coming out within the following days. So that is everything for today's video. We were able to get that advanced security settings that is a part of this phone, so better protection. You also have these new cool squiggly lines to show progression. And this is really everything for the Android 16 QPR1 Beta 1.1. Again, this is a size 6.47 and it was a lot of bug fixes. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video, just kind of going along with where we are today so far with Android 16. QPR1 Beta 1. If you guys appreciated this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.